Ever wondered what lurks behind Saudi Arabia's facade of strict laws? Uncover the shocking truth as elite parties defy morality, exposing a world of decadence and unspeakable secrets. Section 1. The Saudi Royal Family. A glimpse into opulence and power. In the dazzling tapestry of Saudi Arabia, there's a glittering thread that outshines them all. The Royal Family. Picture this. A family tree so vast it could double as a national forest, with branches stretching far and wide. Now, among the sprawling 10,000 to 20,000 royal kin, there's a VIP section, the 2,000 members who hold the keys to opulence and power. At the very top sits King Salman, the ruler of this majestic realm. But hold your camels, there's a charismatic maverick shaking things up. The crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, affectionately dubbed the party prince. If there's a soiree happening, odds are he's the one behind it, orchestrating extravagant events that make Hollywood shindigs look like school bake sales. Picture this royal ringleader, Mohammed bin Salman, as the pied piper of posh parties. His sway extends beyond mere governance. It's about glitz, glamour, and a touch of scandal. Forget tiaras and polite tea parties. We're talking about a spectacle that would make Cinderella's carriage blush. Now, the real scoop is in the exclusivity. While the masses may get a glimpse of the royal majesty in official ceremonies, the inner circle is where the magic happens. It's a VIP club with a velvet rope guarded by peacocks, and the bouncers wear turbans. In this enchanted kingdom, it's not about who you know, it's about who you're related to. King Salman might be the patriarch, but the real influencers are those who share his DNA. These aren't your run-of-the-mill relatives. They're the 2,000 who hold the golden tickets. The power, the wealth, the extravagant lifestyle. It's all in the family, quite literally. Imagine family reunions where instead of awkward small talk, they're discussing international affairs and multi-billion dollar investments. Picture birthday parties where the gifts aren't just wrapped. They're entire islands or rare albino peacocks. This isn't your neighbor's barbecue. This is the royal family's version of keeping up with the Joneses. In this tale of opulence and power, the real narrative isn't in the laws or official proclamations. It's in the hushed whispers of the royal corridors, the clinking of gold-encrusted teacups, and the subtle nods that decide the fate of nations. The party prince and his elite kin hold the strings, orchestrating a symphony of wealth, influence, and a touch of scandal that makes fairy tales seem downright mundane. Welcome to the realm where the monarchy isn't just a title, it's a lifestyle, and it's nothing short of a royal roller coaster. Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy and utterly fabulous ride. Section 2 The Extravagance of Elite Parties. Picture this Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman a.k.a. the party prince, takes the reins for a night of revelry that makes Gatsby's shindigs look like afternoon tea. Behind the closed doors of the royal palaces, it's not just tea being served, it's a buffet of excess with a side of scandal. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, known for his lavish taste, once orchestrated a party that made headlines around the globe. What happened? Well, buckle up because we're about to take you on a magic carpet ride into the extravaganza of elite Saudi soirees. Imagine a remote island, waves gently lapping at the shore, and 150 beautiful models descending from the sky. No, it's not a scene from a romantic movie. It's the party prince's masterstroke. The crown jewel in his collection of soirees featured more glitz and glamour than a Bollywood blockbuster. What was on the menu? Excessive amounts of alcohol, a sprinkle of forbidden substances, and a dash of activities that would make your grandma blush. This wasn't your typical game night, unless your game night involves flying in models on a private jet. The extravagance didn't stop at the guest list. It extended to the decor, the entertainment, and probably the air they were breathing. Rumour has it that the party prince once considered replacing the island's sand with gold flakes, because walking on anything less luxurious is just so last century. 
Now, we're not saying these parties were discreet. In fact, they were so extravagant that even the lampshades probably needed therapy afterward. The contrast between the public image of Saudi Arabia and the private antics of its elite class is as stark as a desert sunset. While the general population abides by strict moral codes, the elite are busy turning private islands into playgrounds of debauchery. Behind those palace walls, the party prince isn't just sipping tea. He's rewriting the definition of hedonism. Section 3. Exposing Depravity. Shocking Stories of Immorality. Picture the scene after a Saudi elite gathering where the aftermath resembles a rock star's hotel trashing spree, but with a twist of Arabian opulence. These aren't your typical soirees. They're extravagant affairs of debauchery, fueled by an excess of wealth and an apparent disregard for moral compasses. The anonymous heroes, or victims, of the hotel industry spill the beans on what goes down when Saudi elites hit the town. First, let's talk about the cleanup crews who waltz into hotel rooms post party. They're not just dealing with spilled drinks and a few misplaced party hats. Oh no, they're facing the aftermath of a hedonistic hurricane, broken furniture, shattered glass, and enough confetti to rival a New Year's Eve parade. It's like a tornado of decadence swept through, leaving chaos in its wake. And then there are the bills. Saudi elites don't just throw parties. They throw financial grenades. The cleanup bills are so astronomical that they make your monthly rent look like pocket change. It's almost as if they view hotel rooms as their personal playgrounds with no concern for the poor souls tasked with restoring order. Now, let's dive into the more scandalous side of these soirees. Anonymous insiders whisper tales of exotic pets, bizarre fetishes, and behaviors that make Las Vegas look like a Sunday school picnic. If only hotel walls could talk, though in this case, you might want them to remain silent. These gatherings allegedly transcend the bounds of decency, with accusations ranging from criminal acts to downright scandalous behavior. It's a real-life soap opera where the rich and powerful play starring roles in a drama that could rival the wildest Hollywood tales. Section 4. Influence Beyond Borders. Controlling Narratives and Image. Now, Imagine Saudi Arabia as the ultimate puppet master, pulling strings on a global stage. It's not just about oil and camels, it's about crafting an image shinier than a knight's armor and just as impenetrable. Saudi Arabia isn't satisfied with ruling within its borders. It wants to be the cool kid in the international playground. So what's the secret sauce? It's not hummus, it's strategic investments and a dash of PR magic. Enter the dazzling world of Saudi influence. Picture this. While you're sipping your morning coffee and scrolling through social media, Saudi Arabia is working its magic behind the scenes. They've got fingers in more pies than your grandma at a baking contest. They've mastered the art of buying into the West, media, sports, entertainment. It's like the Saudi elite decided to throw a massive global party and bought VIP tickets for everyone. Hollywood? Check. Premier League? Double check. They're like the silent partners in your favorite movies and the invisible referees in your soccer games. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Now, you might be thinking, what's the big deal? Every country wants a slice of the global pie. True, but Saudi Arabia isn't just after a slice. It wants to be the one baking the whole darn pie. And guess what? They're doing it with a huge smile, a suitcase full of cash, and a master plan that would make James Bond's villain jealous. Saudi Arabia isn't just investing money, it's investing in shaping the narrative. It's the ultimate storyteller, creating a fairy tale where everyone lives happily ever after. Well, everyone except those who dare to question the status quo. Picture this scenario. Saudi Arabia is investing in your favorite streaming platform, you're binge-watching your guilty pleasure, completely oblivious to the fact that the hand guiding your entertainment choices might be wearing a Saudi Arabian glove. But why bother, you ask? It's all about distraction, my friend. While you're engrossed in the latest blockbuster or your team's nail-biting match, Saudi Arabia is quietly doing its thing. 
It's like a magician dazzling you with one hand, while the other hand is pulling off tricks you never saw coming. Section 5. The Power of Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund Now, let's talk about money, not your everyday run-of-the-mill cash. We're diving into the deep pockets of Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, PEF. Hold on to your camel saddles, because this is where the real magic happens. Picture this. A fund so colossal, it makes Scrooge McDuck's money bin look like a piggy bank. We're talking about the PIF, valued at a staggering $620 billion. That's not just pocket change. It's more like buy-your-own-private-island kind of money. Now you might be wondering, what does Saudi Arabia do with all that moolah? Well, it's not just about buying fancy cars and gold-plated falcon perches, though we wouldn't put it past them. The PIF is like Saudi Arabia's financial wizard pulling strings across the globe. This fund isn't shy about its role. It's a power player, a heavyweight champ in the global financial ring. From sports to media, the PIF has its fingers in more pies than your grandma at a bake sale. But here's the twist. It's not all rainbows and date palms. While Saudi Arabia is busy projecting a shiny, progressive image to the world, there's a darker side to this financial fairy tale. The PIF isn't just about making money, it's about making sure you see Saudi Arabia in a certain light, even if that light is a bit dim. Let's talk sports, for instance. The PIF jumps into the arena, investing in football clubs like they're collecting trading cards. It's like playing Monopoly with real countries and Saudi Arabia just landed on boardwalk with a hotel. But wait, there's more. They're also dipping their toes into the entertainment business. Lights, camera, oil money action. Here's the kicker. While they're busy flashing the cash in the global spotlight, Saudi Arabia conveniently forgets to mention a few things. Human rights? Shh, let's not ruin the party. Dissent? Nope, not on the guest list. It's like throwing the bash of the century while your neighbor's house is on fire. So, next time you see Saudi Arabia making headlines for another big investment, remember, it's not just about the money. It's about controlling the narrative, painting a picture-perfect image while the backstage chaos remains hidden behind the glittering curtain of wealth. And as always, thanks for watching.